Hello, I'm Markus Hess from the Medical Voice Center in Hamburg, Germany, and this is my colleague Susanne Fleischer, and we will show you how we perform endoscopy. For numbing of the vocal tract, I first want to numb the nose, and I will take a tissue and ask the patient to inhale through the nose lidocaine, and not to drip it on the clothes. I will protect her and ask her to breathe in. And this was one cc and she will swallow it and sniff it in. Because I want to intend to go all the way through, I will give her another one cc inhale. And now she is swallowing it. After that, I also want to put some of the lidocaine into the larynx and that's why I'm using a gauze square and ask her to stick out her tongue all the way out up and then while she's saying for a couple of seconds e <coughs> and now <coughs> she will gargle a laryngeal gargle so that she has enough numbing of the nose and the pharynx. Go inside, through the nose. Usually the numbing takes place after a couple of seconds so that I can immediately start. She need not help me with her head position. She can just keep her head as it is and I will control while seeing I will advance the endoscope all the way inside. Sometimes when you want to do the dipping maneuver and let's say I put the endoscope into the other side then I can advance the endoscope with my fingers and then close the other nostril or you can ask the patient to use his or her finger to close the nostril, this side or the other side, so that it is easier for you to handle the endoscope. So let's just show that. I would ask her to take your finger and close the other nostril. Why do I do that? Because it gives you more resistance for breathing and a, a big resistance means that it takes longer to inhale. So let's exhale through the mouth and even if I squeeze a little bit here, give me a long inhalation so that we can hear it. Very good. And exhale. I also sometimes help the patient and I will simulate the inspiration through the nose as well. So to do it together, let's do it together. And once more. And once more in the NBI mode. And exhale. And maybe also cough as a cleaning mechanism. So cough <coughs> once. Yes, and swallow once more. Very nice. Now my intention is not only to see the vocal folds, so lift your head a little bit, but also go very close to the vocal folds. So if I just dip in, some patients will tolerate this and I can go very close and go back. Some patients, they do not tolerate that and so I have to make a maneuver which we call the dipping maneuver. And that means that while she is inhaling, I will go in, dip in, look and go out again. And I do that during her inhalation. So I first ask her to exhale through the mouth. And now breathe in through the nose. I dip in and go back out. If the image is blurred again, I ask her to swallow and because it's numbed, I do have a couple of seconds, if not minutes, to do all these procedures. Again, 
first exhale through the mouth and now I will occlude the other nose and inhale through the nose again 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 and then before she's done with inhalation I retract the endoscope again we will do this once more now try to exhale as much as possible and give me a long inhalation through the nose as long as you can I can hear that she's still inhaling but then I have to retract in time after that I want to do the same procedure with the NBI mode so again give me a long inhalation I can hear that she's inhaling and I can estimate how long this will take now I've done the dipping maneuver some patients do not tolerate this as well as she does and as you can see when I go in the endoscope tends to go forward to the anterior commissure so I have to counteract with my lever so that I can see the inside as you can see here I can also almost look entirely into the trachea because she's numbed up so to summarize first you have to train with the patient in front of you to estimate how long is the inspiratory level so you ask the patient without dipping in give me a long inspiration and if you estimate two or three seconds then the dipping maneuver has to be done in two or three seconds or even less so give me a long inspiration if it's short you go in hold still for half a second and go out if she can prolong it for longer then of course you can stay in longer